Hey everyone, so I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be a full wash day routine from start to finish. So this is what my hair looks like after being in a wash and go for a whole week. It's definitely dry, it's tangled, and it's crying for moisture. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that today. So I'm just letting the water from the shower run throughout my hair, making sure that my hair is nice and wet. I'm just lifting up a few sections, making sure that the water is getting underneath. As you guys can see, my hair is really, really thick, so I try to make sure that my whole entire head is soaked in water to ensure a proper cleanse. So since I have color treated hair, I'm going to go ahead and use a red shampoo that I got from my local Walmart. If you don't have color treated hair, you can definitely use a regular shampoo like this one here from Cream of Nature. So now I'm just splitting my hair into four sections just to make things a little bit easier for me. Pouring a good amount of the shampoo into my hands, then applying it to my hair and scalp. One thing I want to mention is that this shampoo was actually moisturizing. I thought it was going to be, I don't know, I didn't know what to expect to be honest. This was my first time using it. Um, I picked it up the other day and I decided to give it a try. I was actually able to detangle my hair with this, which you guys are going to see. You guys will see in this video that I'm going to run my fingers through my hair with this shampoo in my hair. And I was really surprised, very, very pleased with this shampoo. And on top of that, it's color safe. So once I feel my hair is covered in shampoo, I'll go ahead and do a scalp massage, which is something I've been doing for probably ever since I became natural. I've been doing scalp massages with this brush in particular. I do have a coupon code in case you guys want to get one yourself. So this brush is awesome for, you know, massaging the scalp, lifting, build up off of the scalp as well stimulating blood flow and promoting faster hair growth. It also comes in handy for when you're wearing nail polish and it's chipped and you don't have the time to take off the nail polish. Chipped nail polish can actually snag and rip our hair. I don't know if you guys knew that or not, but, but I actually did experience it with the nail polish cutting my hair and causing breakage. So just doing the same thing, adding some shampoo, to my scalp and hair and really working it in, making sure to split the hair into smaller sections so that way I can get the shampoo onto my scalp. Working it in, making sure it's all over the scalp before I start massaging it with my brush. I love how well the shampoo lathers. Once that's done, I go ahead and use my massage brush and massage my scalp. And the coupon will be in the description box for you guys in case you guys want one. This shampoo brush actually vibrates. It has an on and off button. So that's my hair covered in the shampoo. My hair feels and looks really, really good. My scalp is feeling nice after the massage. So here's a quick tip. Use a hair catcher in your shower. Um, you just you put it over the drain to block the hair from going down the drain. I actually picked up mine downtown at a local supermarket. So this is what it looks like. It catches all your hair so you don't clog the drain and get in trouble like I used to. I used to always get in trouble. So it's really easy to clean. Then you can just rinse it with some soap and warm water. And if you guys can see, the bottom of it um, has suction cups so it sticks to the ground in your shower. And then you just shake it off and leave it to dry. Really easy. Anyways, back to the video. I'm just using warm water to rinse out the shampoo out of my hair. And as I'm rinsing out the shampoo, I'm lightly finger detangling my hair, splitting the hair into smaller sections and making sure that all the shampoo is removed from my scalp. Once that section is done, I just turn around and do the next section. Same thing, lightly finger detangling as I rinse out the shampoo. And massaging my scalp to make sure that there's no buildup on my scalp. Splitting the hair to make sure that all the shampoo is gone.
The next step is to condition your hair. So I'm using my vitamin E conditioner from OGX, squeezing a large amount into my hand and then applying it to my hair. I actually don't put conditioner on my scalp because conditioner isn't made for the scalp. And I know some of you guys are wondering, ah, there's breakage at the back of your head. Nope, it's not breakage. I'm actually growing out my undercut. I used to have a design at the back of my hair. Some of you guys might remember that. So I'm currently growing it out. It's about six months of growth so far. So that's about three inches of growth. Um, it's really annoying to deal with. I highly would not recommend anyone to get undercuts. They're high maintenance and then the grow out stage is just a pain. Moving on to the next section applying a large amount of conditioner to my hair and really working that in. Splitting the hair to make sure all the hair is nice and covered in this conditioner. Another tip, I'm squeezing the conditioner into my hair so it really works its way into my strands. I added a little bit more conditioner to the ends of my hair. So once I'm done adding condition to my hair, I'm going to go ahead and put on a plastic bag for about 5 minutes while I do my skincare and shower routine. I'll leave a link on the screen for you guys. So after about 5 minutes, I come back and I remove my plastic cap. Just going to quickly show you guys what my hair looks like. My hair feels amazing, super soft, moisturized, and it looks really good as well. My scalp is nice and clean from the shampoo. So following the same steps as, you know, rinsing out my shampoo, I'm just letting the water pretty much do its thing. Sometimes I may have to adjust it if it's too hot. When I'm rinsing out my conditioner, I usually rinse it out in one big section. My hair doesn't tangle up or anything like that. But if your hair does tend to tangle, I would suggest washing it out in maybe about four sections. Once I'm out of the shower, I go ahead and put on a old t-shirt on my hair while I get dressed. So this is what my hair looks like with absolutely no product in it. My curls are nice and fun, my hair is nice and soft, and it looks great. So right now I'm going ahead and I'm spraying my Afuji Protein Spray. It's a light protein, um, which is great for anyone who has relaxed hair, color treated hair. It's a light protein, so it shouldn't cause any harm to your hair. I know some of us are protein sensitive, but it should be fine on your hair. And I'm just going ahead and kind of just smoothing that all throughout my hair. So spraying my hair with some water just because it's feeling a little bit dry. Then applying my leave-in and working that into the hair. Once that's in, I go ahead and follow up with my moisturizer. Working it into the ends, adding more as I need. Then adding my oil to seal it all in. Always, always, always use an oil to seal in your moisture or the moisture that you just added to your hair will escape. Once that's done, I go ahead and use a comb to detangle my hair. So for this front section, I'm going to add just a little bit of gel because I'm going to create two flat twists. If you guys know me, you know that I love my two flat twists at the front of my head. And by the way, I am doing a twist out. Brushing that gel in, not brushing the whole length of my hair, just the very front and I'm being very gentle. I'm not the best at this, I can't really teach you, but um, you guys can kind of just follow along. You're twisting and as you twist, you pick up hair. If you can cornrow, you can probably do this. I can't cornrow, so. So once I'm done twisting my hair, my hair would look something like this. I actually went ahead and trimmed the ends of my hair off camera, but you guys will see a video very soon. So here's a close up on my twists, nice and shiny and fluffy, and they should be nice and moisturized in the morning. At night, I just wrapped my hair with a silk scarf, and then the next day, I just take it down. This is what my twists look like after sleeping on them. I'm just going ahead with some oil and smoothing that all over my twists just to add some shine. I'm being very gentle when I'm taking down my twists to minimize the amount of frizz that I get. But with this look, I wasn't going for a defined twist. That's why I did them really big. Once my twists are all undone, I go ahead and lightly separate my hair. For this look, I definitely wanted more volume, 
so I made sure to separate until they couldn't be separated anymore. And with the front of my hair, I just lift up some of my hair, place it at the back of my head, and bobby pin it down. And I do the same thing with the other side. I take the flat twist and pin it at the back of my head. And that's pretty much it. This is how I wear my hair on the first few days, and then I redo my twist out. And I get even better results. If you guys like this video, definitely give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. And also subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.